many in the audience have probably been wondering what's on my head this this uh this entire episode and i'm wearing the iconic you know davy crockett raccoon hat so I, i'd like to get into davy crockett who is quite possibly the most famous uh person or, or or instance to to come out of the alamo he's been so romanticized and made iconic throughout american history so who was davy crockett david crockett um is a three-time congressman from the state of tennessee who loses his fourth bed in congress and ends up immigrating into texas he's not here very long just a handful of months before he loses his life at the battle of the alamo and he will be used as a as some what as a propaganda tool in my mm -hmm. opinion to de further demonize the mexican army and get people to join the texian cause and it works very well people have to remember that he was kind of the elvis of his time um <laughs> he was very very um uh, very popular he had he had books written about him he had plays written about him um the other thing about it is that america is still in its infancy as a nation you know having won our independence um, it, you know, very early on, and then the Alamo happens not long after that. Um, the American identity has not been fully established. What is an American? Some people we still didn't know at this period, you know, and uh, is it George Washington? You know, is mm -hmm. it someone like that? Um, and Crockett kind of steps forward and becomes a major part of the American identity. And so whenever he dies at the Battle of the Alamo, um, some people, you know, it may have felt like they had lost a piece of America, right? Or at least, you yeah. know, the idea of what an American was. And so it, it likely spurred people on to uh, go and fight and join the Texian army. It certainly upsets people that he may have been executed after the battle without a firearm and is, is killed without being able to defend himself. So, yeah, he becomes this um, larger than life character. And then he's further... Um, He's further developed and, and kind of explodes under Fess Parker, who played him, and then John Wayne. And so he really becomes this iconic American symbol. But it wasn't, yeah. it's not something that was done recently. He was a symbol of America even during his lifetime. And so it um, shows you the power uh, that wow. he had over the, over the people. That's a, that's a fantastic point because you're absolutely right. I mean, the nation, the United States as a nation is still very young. They're still finding their identity. I mean, when we look back now, we have so many um, larger than life figures that that have shaped the American identity and shaped American history. But at that time, you know, you have the Revolutionary War heroes, you have George Washington, but America still yearns for figures to look up to, especially, you know, closer to their time. And and Davy Crockett, I think, fills that very well, especially, you know, like you mentioned, he's sort of a propagandized figure to to bolster American morale and American patriotism. But he fights valiantly at the Battle of the Alamo. I think there's, it may, it may be a myth, but I saw a little story that said um, when they found his body, he was surrounded by like 13 Mexican soldiers with just a knife in his hand to, to show, um, you know, how bravely and how fiercely he fought at the Alamo. Yeah, you know, um, we don't know how he died. Uh, we, we don't know if he was fought in the battle and then was shot and killed in the, you know, in the early minutes of the battle or a latter part of the battle, or if he was executed. Um, I, I have read accounts that he had taken out several men. Um, again, someone with combat experience, he, he was a fighter. And so yeah. it is likely that he took several people with him. Interesting. And it's interesting to hear that, that even during his lifetime, he was an iconic romanticized figure. You know, we look back and, we may think that this sort of identity and iconic figure came from the movies and the stories that were written about him. But even during his lifetime, he was um, sort of an iconic romanticized figure. Yeah, not an easy thing to do, you know, especially for someone who, you know, ran away from home very early on and had, you know, less than a year's worth of education in his lifetime. Uh, it's pretty, pretty powerful. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a testament to, to who he was as a person.